Welcome to Naresh Technologies. I am Bangar Raju and this is a continuation series for our ASP.NET videos. And in this videos, uh, let us just try to understand about a web server and uh, what are the importance of the web server in our application development. See, in my first video, I was already explaining about if at all you want to host your ASP.NET web applications, you require a web server. And Microsoft provides us a web server, Microsoft provides us a web server for hosting the web applications called as IIS, stands for Internet Information Services, Internet Information Services, okay. Well, first, uh, apart from this Internet Information Services, remember, actually we need to install it on our system explicitly. We need to install this on our computer explicitly. By default, sometimes along with the OS, it will come, but make sure it is already available on your computer. How to make sure it is available on your computer? Open the browser, open any browser, and in the browser, just simply say HTTP localhost. When you say HTTP localhost, it has to display this window. It has to display the internet information services window. If it displays you this window, if it is going to display this particular window, the meaning is the IS is already available on your computer. So, IS is already available on your computer. So, you just have IS installed on your system right now. Okay. So, if the window is not opened, means if it shows a page not found, IS is not installed. If IS is not installed, how to install IS? Let me show you. So, how to install IES on our computers? Let us just check it out. Installing IES on your computer. In the search window, open your control panel. And in the control panel, choose the option programs and features, which opens say programs and features window. And in the left hand side, you will find an option turn windows features on or off. Click on it. And once you click on it, it just launches a window and here and here you will be finding up the option, you will be finding up the option internet information services. If IS is not installed, this checkbox will be in an unchecked state. So check the checkbox, check the checkbox and one more thing, make sure under that all these options are selected make sure all these options are selected okay just expand it and make sure all the options have been selected for you under this one so that you will not get any problems in the future okay so just make sure all these options are selected and once all these options are selected once you click on the okay it will just ask you to put your windows uh, or your cd and uh, once you specify the location of the windows also it is just going to install on your system okay so either a CD or the location where you have the Windows uh, software. If you select it automatically, the IS will be installed for you on your computer. And once IS is installed on your computer, and once IS is installed on your computer, again open your browser and again try this option HTTP, same, localhost and it has to display the window back to you. And once it displays the window, you have IES running on your system. And uh, how can I work with IES? Just again open the search window, INET MGR, INET MGR, Internet Information Services Manager, this IES Manager, this is the IES Manager and you can launch it by using the INET MGR here and once you open this, once you open this, yeah, it will ask you for uh, Connected with the latest web platform components, okay. And just uh, first time you do it, every time not required, just simply click no. And this is the IES manager. And in the left hand side, you will be finding a connections pane. You see, in the left hand side, you will be finding a connections pane here. And here and here, it will be showing you NIT, NIT slash administrator. And this is your local host basically, NIT. What is this NIT? NIT is nothing but the machine name. And generally, the name of this server will always be the name of your computer. 
the name of your server will always be the name of the computer and my name of the computer is NIT. So, my server name is also NIT. So, that is we see in the browser without using HTTP localhost. If I say HTTP NIT also and click the enter key, then also it just opens the same window. So, you can see again I am opening a new tab and in the new tab let me try the same thing. HTTP NIT open. So, local host, local host is nothing but the local computer. NIT is also the local computer only, but the computer name. But what is the use of NIT than local host? See, HTTP local host, when you try, it will launch your site only from the local system, only from the local system. Suppose you are in a networked environment and other systems are connected to your computer. The other computers, if they say HTTP local host, they will be connected with their local IS, not with my IS. If they need to be connected with my IIS, what they should call HTTP colon slash NIT, my computer name, then they can access my IIS from their browser okay? or my web application from their browser, fine. So, that is what I and administrator, administrator is the name of the user uh, through which I logged in into my computer, administrator login. Under this, you will be finding up sites. Okay, you will be finding up sites and if you expand the sites, you will be finding up a default website. You will be finding a default website here and by default one website is created and that website only has been launched as the page, the page what we requested. That is what uh, when we just gone for HTTP local host, the page was open for us and that particular page is already present under this website. Okay, And now what we are going to do is either we can store, either we can store our web publications or our web forms also under this particular website, under this default website and access. We can either store our web pages under this website and access or otherwise we can just go for creating our own sites as well as we can also create a virtual directory and also access. What is that? I will tell you. But this is the default website under which and this default website is by default pointing to a folder. This is pointing to a folder means if at all you want to access anything from the default website, they need to be copied into a folder. What is that folder? Right click, manage website, advanced settings. If you go here, it just opens a window and it will show you the physical path to which that is targeting. What is that system drive? System drive in the sense the drive on which we have just installed our operating system. So, basically C drive is my system drive. So, tomorrow you can have D drive also as a system drive. That is why it is not referring as a C or D, simply calling system drive slash inet pub www root. And this is the folder that is mapped with my website, with my website. So, any content that is placed into that particular folder can be accessed through the website. Okay, watch. C drive inet pub www root. C drive inet pub www root. And here we have one HTML file. What is that IIS start file? Okay, this is the HTML file what you just have. Just I am trying to open it physically by using an Internet Explorer. Physically by using an Internet Explorer. Okay. So, this is, yes, this is the file. See, inetpub www root iastart.html. And if you remember, this is the same page that is opened when I called HTTP localhost. What is the difference? The difference is, you are opening it from the physical location directly. You are opening it from the physical location. But the other option, what I showed you, HTTP localhost. Let me try that also. HTTP localhost. Here, we are accessing this particular page through, we are accessing this page through IES. What is the difference? The difference is here, when you access through IES, no one knows the physical location of the file. But when accessing directly, everyone knows the physical path now. And accessing through IES can be accessed from the other computers also connected to my computer connected to my computer in a LAN. In a LAN, other computers are connected to my computer. All of them can access it. 
but when I go for a physical location, they may not be in a position to access my files directly from there. Okay? And not only from other computers tomorrow, tomorrow they can be accessed from other places in the network, other networks also. They can be accessed from other networks also through internet. But when I am just going to access through the physical path, you can do all these things. And we never try to disclose the physical path of our applications or our files. So, that is way we better access it through IS. And here I am just accessing this through IS only. Okay, HTTP localhost. So, we are accessing through the IS. But here we are not accessing through IES, we are physically accessing this one and this is the page and this is the HTML file what we have and see we can also create one HTML file and we can access it through IES, okay, watch. A simple HTML file, opening a notepad and let me type a simple HTML file, content here. How do you do that? HTML by HTML head by head, title, uh, a sample page, sample page by title and let me come to the body, by body and in this I am just writing font size equals to 5 and that Welcome to ASP.NET classes by font. Yes, let us save the file. Okay, let me save the file. Save and I am going to save in the same location. C drive, C drive, what that location? INET pub, www root and here let me save it as sample dot sample dot htm or html we can save it with the dot htm extension or we can save it with the dot html extension save when you click on the save when you click on the save now listen you can open a browser and you can access it through ies now how is it possible http uh, localhost, localhost or NIT, anything, no issues. And what is the file name? Sample.htm. And once we just open it, you can see the HTML file was opened for us. And we are not accessing through the physical path, we are accessing it through IIS. Through IIS, it is not physically located. So, advantage tomorrow, other systems that are in the network connected to my computer also can access it. And not only this one, other networks also can be accessed through the, other networks also can access my web page through the internet. Everything is possible. That is the reason why we are just going to access through IS now. So, by default, by default, the content we place in inetpub www root will be accessed through our, through our IS and uh, what is that? Default website default website. Is it possible to store in a different location? Yes, we can store it in a different location also. That is also possible. We will see that. We will see how to do it. Okay, fine. Actually, I want to store my HTML file, not here, but I want to store it in my own folder, my own folder on the C drive or on the D drive. On the D drive, let me create a new folder, a new folder. I will call it as ASP samples, ASP samples and in this ASP samples, I am just placing the folder. I am just placing the file. Okay, let me copy from there. WW root, copy this sample file. Let me come to D drive, ASP samples and pasting it here. Yes. So, right now we have it in the D drive, ASP samples now. And I want to access it through IES. Okay. First thing, I am deleting, I am deleting it in the WW root folder. Delete. It is not there. It is not going to be present. So now if you open the browser and try to refresh, we get an error. 
we get an error. What is that? 4, 4 not 4, not found. 404 not found. Why? The resource is not there. We deleted it. And I want to access it through IES, but not storing in inetpub www root folder. I want to save it in my own folder and access it. If that is the case, what to do? Come here. See, tomorrow I want to store all my web pages into that particular folder only, but I want to access through IES. If that is the case, we need to create a virtual directory mapping it through the folder. How to do that? See there. Right click on the default website and you will be finding an option called as add virtual directory. Click on this and when you create an add virtual directory, it will ask you, it will ask you, uh, what is the alias name for this one? Alias name is nothing but the, the name of your application, the name of your application and this will be created under the default website. Okay. I am going to name it as test app, test app is the name. Physical path, what is the physical path? Let us select it, D drive, under D drive ASP samples is a physical path okay? and cl click on the OK button and once you click on this particular OK button, you can see a new virtual directory is created for you under the default website, under the default website it has created the virtual directory and now you see you select it and here you will find content view, click on the content view, it will show you the file name to you. So can I access it through the browser? Yes, you can. How? Watch. HTTP, localhost, now you are required to write your app name or the virtual directory name, test app, test app slash sample dot sample dot htm. You can just notice the path carefully. If you just notice said HTTP localhost under that my virtual directory name and from there I am accessing. But see this is not saved in inetpub www root. Where is it saved? It is just saved for us on the D drive and that is physically mapped with this IS okay, by creating a virtual directory. This is another way how you can access your content. Okay. So, option is yours, you can directly save it in inetpub www root or we can create our own virtual directory. But virtual directories are more preferred so that we can just save in any location we want. Okay. So, this is the process how you are going to access things from the IES. Okay. This is the IES web server. So, right now we have seen how to just work with the IES web server and access the web pages through the IES web server. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Naresh IT.